are our souls at stake. Let's give it our best. Let's take them back. Back to the Bible. Welcome to Reaching the Lost Success Strategies. All right, let's talk about the evangelism table. It's one of the very first steps you should take. So you've been left a lot of materials. There's boxes everywhere. What do you do with all that stuff? Now, during the seminar, we mentioned, please do not place these in the preacher's office, lock them in a library, and let them collect dust. Now, that would be a very poor steward of the investment that your congregation just made. All right, so you got a lot of materials. Now, not all of it needs to be put on a table. Listen, if you take evangelism, visualize, and you should have a few of those and place those on the table, they're going to be gone almost immediately. And people who are taking them really don't need them, all right? Unless you're going to be, you know, a, a, a teacher leading the study, part of the special forces, you really don't need that tool. All right, so we want to make sure that on the evangelism table, are the actual tools that you need, they're the tools that are important for the members to get a hold of and use. So you have a list here, and the list, it, it's going to detail what goes on the table and what does not go on the table. Let me give to you a, just a few examples. All right, first, you should have back to the Bible on that table. That's obvious. You want the members to have access to one of the greatest evangelistic tools ever written, 90% success rate. You don't want anybody having to dig through it. You don't want anybody having to, you know, to um, uh, uh, unlock doors uh, uh, to get to this tool. If you want it on your evangelism table, all right, does it matter? All right, that's your second tool. That's a, that's a, it takes back to the Bible. It's condensed for a reason. All right, you can use it as a follow-up for those who don't obey the gospel and use it for those maybe who've sat in the pews for years, haven't obeyed the gospel. You can use it for uh, those who perhaps only have one opportunity. There's a lot of purposes. Let's have that ready. Believe the Bible. For those who don't believe in God, don't believe in the Bible, and don't believe in Christ, let's have it ready. Let's have those illustrations, those bookmarks that you would actually hand them during the study. Let's have them out there too. Let's have some of those door hangers out there. Maybe a member just wants to hang it on a friend's door and, or a neighbor's door from time to time. Let's have those out there as well. Let's make sure we have the bookmark, the School of Evangelism bookmark, where people are writing down contacts. Let's make sure we have the contact card sitting out there. Again, these are, these are tools that are required for you to be successful in your soul winning uh, abilities. Now, again, consult the download, consult the training sheet because we have them listed you should have everything there that you need. Now, let's go back a little bit. Where should the evangelism table be located? In the foyer where people have to, you know, almost trip over it to get out of the building. Let's make sure we do not. Let me repeat. Let's make sure we do not put it somewhere obscure where nobody ever is going to see it. All right. It's got to be literally where people can't get around it. They've got to look at it. So we want to avoid putting it in closets. We want to avoid putting it in back rooms. We certainly don't want to lock it up somewhere. We want to get it where everybody has access to it. Make it look nice. Okay. In your literature, we have suggestions on where to go and how to, how to, uh, uh, order uh, a nice tablecloth. Maybe your church logo goes on it. Maybe you have, uh, something else that, uh, you can decorate with it. Why not place the poster right over the, the evangelism table and remind the brethren, Hey, this is the model we're trying to follow. So they're all around your church building. We're educating the members on evangelism. So right over the table, you got your poster. You got all your tools out there. Don't put stuff on there that that's not needed by the membership. Make sure someone's appointed. There should be a coordinator over your evangelism table. And when things get low, just call us. Just let us know. Hey, Rob, we need more of this. We'll be happy to send you what you need. We'll be happy to help you. That's what we're for. We're a school of evangelism. Did you know every day we're praying for you? We're praying that souls be saved. You're not going to save souls if you don't have the right tools. You're not going to be effective if you don't train. So make sure you follow the model. Get that evangelism table set up. Contact us if we can help you. And to God be the glory. We just plant and water, then watch God see the increase start. There are souls at stake. Let's give it our best. Let's take them back, back to the Bible.